Hey, hey, we are back in the Movement by MK Studio and I'm so excited to sweat with you as always. Today we have a full body sweat class, 30 minutes, you guys. It is gonna be intense, but it's gonna be short, sweet, and effective. You do not need any equipment today. I am gonna use a jump rope during the warm up, but that's about it. So you can do this workout anywhere, anytime, when you're traveling, or you only have 30 minutes in your day and you're just like, I wanna get in a killer sweat sesh. This is gonna be the one, okay? Are you ready? Let's get after it. Hands out to the side, feet out wide, reaching for that opposite foot or ankle. Starting here with these tap outs. We got about a three to four minute warm up. Yep, let's go. Getting that body nice and loose. Good. Trust me, this one you're gonna wanna like keep aside and utilize it all the time. It's gonna be so good. Good, we're here for five. We're gonna jump rope. You can jump rope in place in four, in three, in two, and one. I'm just gonna grab my MBM jump rope. You can do yours in place unless you have mine. Let's go, 30 seconds. Get that heart rate up. I always say this, but jump roping is literally so effective, you guys. It's seriously the best. Good, you're here for about 20 seconds. And we're gonna go into a walkout plank. You can already tell this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> Let's go. 10 seconds, you meet me at the back of your mat. Good, here for five, for four, it's three, back on the mat, and two, and one. Jump rope to the side if you have it. Meet me at the back. Feet are wide, walk it on out. Good, then bring it right back up. One minute here. We go back into those tap outs, back into your jump rope, and then we go right into our workout. It feels so good to just get in a nice little warm up before. I don't know about you, but sometimes I used to just go to the gym and jump right into my workout, and then I would be sore for days and then I wouldn't be able to go back. <laughs> so that's why I'm a big advocate for those warm ups and the cool downs. We're gonna come back in to your tap outs in five, in four, hell yeah, in three, in two, and one. Turn and face towards me, feet are wide, let's go. Reach across, stretch out those hammies. In today's workout, you literally will work every inch of that body. <laughs> Trust me. Good. By now your heart rate should be up just a bit. You should be ready to rock. We're here. Eight seconds, we're gonna come back in. 30 seconds of ropes. And we'll grab a quick sip. Right into our workout. Good, breathe. Ropes are back in. Eight and five. Eight and four, tap it on out. In three, in two, and one. Grab that jump rope if you have it. If not, you're right in place. 30 seconds. So let's talk about the circuits. Circuit one is gonna be full body. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Circuit two, you got nine minutes of cardio. Circuit three, you got core two times through. Then you have a two move cardio finisher. That's right. All right, we grab that sip in four, in three, in two, and one. Jump rope to the side, grab that sip. All right, I'm gonna get the timer started. First move, four moves, two times through. So we're gonna start at the end of our mat. We're gonna bring these arms on up. Halo swing, bring it to the side. Halo swing, deep side squat. You'll swing towards whatever way that outside foot is going. You're on in three, two, and one. Get those arms involved. Bring your legs together. Swing it on out. Legs go wide. Good, arms up and around. 30 seconds. <laughs> Good work. It's that wide squat. Getting arms involved, 20 seconds. 
a little upper body, a little lower body at the same time. We love that, right? <laughs> it's like, let's kill two birds with one stone. You got five seconds. Meet me in a double pulse goblet. In four, in three, swinging around. In two, and one, turn and face towards me. Toes are pointed out. Drop it down. Double pulse, okay. <laughs> the second time through, you will definitely feel this. There's just something about a goblet. I personally love it. Feet are wide, double pulse. That double pulse will sneak up on you. 30 seconds here. Good. So I am gonna give you that 15 seconds of rest. If you wanna take it, you can take it. If you feel good, you can jump rope in place. You can hit some jumping jacks, whatever feels good. You get your break in three, in two, and one. Feel free, 15 seconds, moving side to side. If you want to, jacks, or if you just need a little breather, you take it. Either one works. We're on to our next move. Lay down push-up, toe tap. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Back to the mat, walk it on out. Lay it on down, arms extend long. Elbows in tight, push it up. Toe tap it for one, toe tap it for two. Just like our warm up today. Making sure your core is tight not hyper extending that low back keeping everything nice and aligned 15 seconds you do get that 15 second breather i didn't give it to you on the first move because <laughs> usually we don't do a 45 15. so if you want to take that 15 second break you will in four in three in two and one you can either take your break or you're moving side to side with me come on Let's go. Or you can hit these jacks. Whatever you want. If you need that 15 seconds, take it. But if you're feeling a little extra, add these in. Woo! Yep. Come on. You got it. Three seconds. We get that heart rate up a little bit more. In two. And one. Right leg goes back. Drive it back. Bring it up. Drive it back. Bring it up. About 20 seconds aside, your final move. It's one fluid motion, bring it back, bring it up. If you need something lower impact, you add in a little break. But if you're with me, you're on this side. Okay, <laughs> you're starting to feel this, I know. Switch sides, in three, in two, and one, left leg, let's go. Bring it back, drive it up. Good. Working for that 15 second rest before we pop right back in. Eight seconds here. As fast or as slow as you need it. Water break, 15 second rest. In three, in two, and one. Take that step. Now I know that the second time through is gonna be way more fun for you. You're awake. Your body feels good. Your mind is in the right place. So let's hit it together. Back of that mat, 45 on, 15 off. In three, two, and one. Drop booty down. Swinging around. Drop booty down. Swing. Legs are wide, then narrow. Wide and narrow. 45 on, 15 off, or take those jacks. What have you decided to do today? Either one works, you guys. I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm just here to push you a little bit, to give you what you need. Every day is gonna look a little bit different, and I talk about that all the time. Are you ready for your break? It's coming up. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. If you're not taking the break, you're going right into jack. Okay, 15 seconds. 
That double pulse goblet is back on deck. Come on, it feels so good to push yourself. I know you feel great. Double pulse goblet in four, in three, in two, and one, drop it down. Double pulse, bring it up, drop it down. Double pulse. We do this workout at all my events, the double pulse. <laughs> and I always love to throw in just a little jumping jack component. These just never get old. They're so good. Gets the heart rate up in a short amount of time. And they just get the job done, you know? So, you know your options. 15 seconds to rest. Or you take the little jack or a little jump rope in place. 15 seconds before you come into that little break. Or you can go into your cardio blast. Then we go right into lay down push up toe tap. We're on and off in three, in two, and one. 15 seconds. Come on, let's either side to side. Oh, you're taking a little breather. I love a good lay down push up. Same thing, so effective. Good, we're gonna drop it down to the lay down. In three, in two, and one. Walk it on out. Your 45 seconds starts here. Lay it down, extend arms long, bring it up, toe tap. Getting those hammies involved just like that warm up. You'll see in all my workouts, they really tie together. There's a reason and purpose for every move I include, for every way I warm you up. 15 seconds. I am sweating. <laughs> Feels so good though. <sighs> so after this, you got seven seconds. You're either resting for 15 or taking your baby cardio blast. In three, in two, and one. Either one. 15 seconds. Then we go back in. Reverse lunge. One of my favorite moves. We drop it back on the right. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Form is important. Bring it up. Balance. Drive it up. Good. Bring it back. And up. 15 seconds. Trust me, this full body sequence is warming you up for that nine minute cardio blast. You're here for four. On the left side, in three, in two, and one. Left side, switch it out. Balance it out. Bring it up and back. Seriously, how many times are you gonna add this workout to your routine? It's a good one. I can already see you this summer, traveling, busy, or the winter where you're like, I can't leave the house. This one is for you. Good, you got seven seconds. Quick sip in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Woo. Quick sip. Okay, your cardio blast for real this time. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Because for the cardio blast, you're gonna need a little breather. Okay, so you got about 15 seconds to get set up. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Bring it down. In sinking it out, okay? That's your first move. Second move, lateral high knees when you can't go anymore. Punch and pivot for one and two. Then you're right back in. Third move, it's gonna be that broad jump. Front and back. We're on in three, in two, and one. 40 seconds starts here. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. For real, you can take your time. Either way, 10 seconds is really quick. Best part about this workout, again, 30 minutes or less, works your entire body, gets your heart rate up in a short amount of time, gets you mentally and physically challenged. Seriously, it's a game changer. <laughs> Good, your second move is coming up soon. But you got that 10 second break. In five, in four, 
in three, in two, and one. 10 seconds to breathe. Take a second. Again, you can keep that body moving, whatever feels good. At the back of your mat, you're gonna bring those knees on up. We're on in three, two, and one. So side to side. Once you can't go anymore, stop. Punch and pivot right back in. It's like we're in the NFL, you know? <laughs> Getting those high knees in. Or I'm just back in my D1 volleyball days. Either way, drop it down. <sighs> 30 seconds left. Done that 10 second break. <sighs> Seeing these moves three times through. Punch and pivot. Thinking about how much better you feel halfway through this workout than when you started. I know you don't regret coming. I know you're like, hell yeah. I feel so good. Good, you get that 10 second break. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Take a sec. Walk it on out if you need it. Then you're gonna come in. Row, jump to the front and back. All right, we're on in three, in two, and one. Row, jump it out to the front, to the back. If you're on a hard angle, either way works. If you need something lower impact, monster walk it out. If you want to take the first jump, shuffle on back. Either way works. You got 30 seconds here. If you want to go continuously, it's continuous. Your first round is almost done and dusted. Bring it front, bring it back. 20 seconds for your breather. During this sequence, you should need that 10 second breather. You should be giving it your all. It should be hard to talk. Eight seconds for seven. It's six, stay with me for five. That's right, for four, for three, for two, and one breather. Whew. Heart rate maxed out, 10 seconds. Okay, round two. Best thing about it, see it another time. We get ready to in sync in three, two, and one, bring it up, wrap it around. Yep, booty drops out. Swing in those arms. Hey, hey. Okay, come on, sis. I know that you've already been like, okay. MK, you're bringing it today, girly. <laughs> so are you. Good, come on. Continuous movement. 20 seconds. Working for your 10 second breather. Ready for that round two of high knees with a pivot punch, with a pivot punch. I want you to give it some, some spice. Give it some attitude, some personality. Good, 10 seconds. In four, in three, your break is on, in two, and one, take a sec. Slick back that ponytail to the end of the mat. <laughs> Get those knees ready to drive up. We're on, in three, in two, and one, it is quick. Here we go. We drop, pivot and punch. Thirty-five seconds. Second time through. You have to tell me what was the kiss of death for you. I think for me, it's the broad jumps. Cannot tell you how many times I had to broad jump in college or even to get my scholarship. It felt like every week. It was like Mary Kate. On the line, broad jump. Let me get the tape measure. <laughs> Good, stay with it. For five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Breathe here. Take a sec, walk it out. Here, 10 seconds. Collect yourself. I really want you to bring it on this broad jump. In three, in two, and one. Let's go forward and back. It's forward. And back, so out of breath that it's hard for you to have a conversation. Your 40 second blast. You only got 30 seconds before your third and time, third and final round through. 20 seconds, a little bit faster. Staying low the whole time. You are doing so well, come on. Stay with it. That's right. We breathe in five. In four, in three, in two, and one, breathe. Whew. Okay, this is where you collect yourself. Third round, 
You got it in the bag, okay? Drop booty down. We're on in three. In two. And one. Here we go. Third and final round. Elbows are up and out to the side. Breathing. Booty drops down. Everything you got here. Just think about it. Before your cardio signature. This is your last set of cardio. Then you get two rounds of core. Yep, that's right. We're coming to your 10 second breather. In eight, in seven, a little bit more. In five, come on, give it all you got. In four, in three, don't slow down. In two, and one. Breathe here. Let's go, I want you again. Give it all you got in these high knees. Roll those shoulders back. Get ready to explode into it. In three, two, and one. Lateral movement. Your breather is that punch with the pivot. But you're hitting it so hard, doesn't feel like much of a breather. Think about the words that got you here today. How do you want to feel? Is it powerful? Is it strong? Is it energized? Is it confident? Is it accomplished? I always say it. What is that one word? What are you working towards? I hope it's a feeling and not a look. Because remember, the way you feel is irreplaceable. Sure, that body is gonna age. <laughs> We're gonna look a little bit differently. But if you can have a positive self-image, if you can have self-confidence, nothing like that can be replaced. Come on, let's go, you drive it up. Eight seconds before you break. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Let's go, breathe. All right, here we go. Broad jump special. We're on. In five, in four, I want you to go the distance. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. Your final 40 seconds. Maybe you're working to go a little bit faster. Maybe you're working to jump a little bit further. Either way, work towards something today. That's why you're here, right? You didn't show up to just go through the motions. You showed up, like I said, to feel a certain way, to give back to yourself. You do that right here. You got 20 seconds before we take a quick breather. You don't slow down. I'm by your side. I have to push just as hard, just as long. Five seconds for four. Staying low for three. For two, you don't walk away. Final one. Woo. Now you can take a sip. <laughs> take a sip. Find some space on the mat. Two rounds of cardio. Two cardio move finisher. That's it, come down on the mat. We ease into it, butterfly those feet together. Arms are right behind your head here. Gazes up towards the ceiling or sky. Little butterfly crunch. The sequence will advance throughout. This is your option to just get that heart rate back down for just a second. I know your heart is beating through your chest. I know you're like, wow, I am such a badass. Good, we allow ourselves to slow down for a bit because that's how we get better, right? We can't just be cruising through life at 120% every day, right? You gotta give yourself some time to decompress, to get things back in order before you charge at it again. Good, you come in. We're gonna meet halfway in the middle. Feet are gonna go long. In three, in two, and one. So feet come long. Slight bend in your opposite knee. You're gonna come on up, tap it out, bring it down, bring it up. If that's too advanced, you're ab biking right here. If you're with me, you're up, tapping it out, bringing it up, tapping it out. Good, holy smokes, you guys. I'm so grateful for this little core sequence. We got a V up coming up in five, in four, in three, is two and one. You're gonna come in. Legs are gonna be wide. You're gonna bring your hands to the center of your legs here. You're gonna squeeze at the top. 
Good, breathing here. It's only 15 seconds. It's short and sweet. If that's too much, you're right here, a little crunch. But if you can keep those legs wide, bring it in the center. Good, we circle it out. In four, in three, in two, and one feet come together. Again, your head is resting in those palms. Your feet fall down. We circle around. Woo! If that's too much, you're right here. Still too much, alternating it out. Again, you're either circling it out or you're just bringing it in and out. Point those toes. Either way works. If this doesn't feel right on those hips, that's okay. There's an option for everyone today. Good, it's only 15 seconds. We take a quick sip before we hop right back into the top of this ab sequence. You are in the single digits of this class. You are cruising through. That's right. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Roll it on up. Take a quick, quick sip. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, my abs are on fire. <laughs> All right, I said it's quick. We're back in, butterfly. Feet are together. Little crunch. Breathe. It's 15 seconds. Little bit of a condensed sequence. 15 seconds here, 30 seconds of the meat halfway. Again, if the meat halfways are too much, you take that at bike. You follow my lead in four, in three, in two and one legs are long slight bend in the opposite knee elbow tucks in 30 seconds here drive it up if that is too much just take your ab bike nice and slow and steady trust me your two minute cardio finisher is gonna leave you here so out of breath so take your time while you can you got eight seconds we come back in to those v-ups in four in three in two and one legs are out to the side little crunch if that's still too much baby crunch in the center still too much feet are down on the mat little bit of a crunch good it's only 15 seconds then we come in to those circle abs once we're done with that it's a quick sip you're back on your feet two minute finisher good five seconds here squeeze for four for three, we circle it out in two and one. Feet come in the center. Drop legs down. Swing it around if that's too much. Slight bend in the knees. Racking it back and forth. It's only 15 seconds. Get your way through the end. Then we go in. Your two minute cardio class. Come on, stay with me here. Good. On your feet in five, in four, in three. Two and one. Roll it on up. Ooh. Take a quick sip. Okay, I know you're ready for it because this is a sweat class. So you're like, MK, I need to be leaving here. Out of breath, drenched in sweat. I got you covered. All right, you got 15 seconds to meet me here. You're gonna come into a commando plank jack. So you're gonna be into a commando. Bring it up, double plank jack. Bring it down. We're on in three, two, and one. It's only 30 seconds of move. So double plank jack in commando. If this is too much, table top. Drop it down, kick it out, kick it out. You only got 15 seconds left here. Nice flat back. Climb your way on up. Double plank jack. Bring it on down. Good, we're gonna meet on our feet in a sumo jack. In eight, in seven, in six, it's five for four for three for two and one come on up you come in double jack drop it down in and out double jack drop it down in and out only 30 seconds we come right back on the mat it might only be two moves it might only be 30 seconds but trust me when i say it will get the job done I will not waste your time. I program with passion and purpose. I have a reason for every move I tie together. I want you to get stronger. I want you to transform not only your body, 
but also your mind. Five seconds. In four, back on the mat. In three, in two, and one. Drop it down. Come on, your final minute of work. You meet me here. We are on in three, in two, and one. Commando. 30 seconds. Two jacks. Drop it down. Bring it up. Staying the course. 15 seconds. Then we finish on our feet. Eight seconds. Will you push yourself? Come on. You got it. For five. For four. For three. For two. And one on your feet. Final 30 seconds. Two jets. In and out. 30 seconds is nothing. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Come on, I know you're not slowing down. I know you're gonna finish right here with me. You're not gonna quit. You keep going. You're halfway. You're in the single digits. It's eight for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Woo! That is a wrap. Take a second. Woo. I'm so sweaty. Walk it out for now. Just take a sec before we cool down. Wow, that felt so good. All right, let's come down on the mat. Just taking a few minutes here to just slow down. Lay it down in that butterfly, I promise we're not gonna crunch it out. Allow your head to rest down on the mat. Allow your feet to come in and out. Working on your hip mobility always. Good, feel free to close your eyes here for a few minutes as we slow it down. Maybe this is the only time in your day you have for yourself where nobody else is beeping in, calling your name, crying for you, asking you to do things. This is your time. Good, extend your legs long. Take your knee in for a sec, roll out that foot or ankle. I want you to focus on bringing this leg across, allowing that right arm to fall long, placing a little bit of pressure right here. But most importantly, just breathe. Good, bringing it back center. Left knee comes in, circling it on out. Same thing, slowly but surely finding your way, allowing that left arm to drop, place a little bit of pressure on this left knee with this right hand. Good, extending both legs long, bringing your feet into a happy baby here. Rocking it side to side, front to back, whatever feels good. Breathing in through the nose, sighing out through the mouth. Good, extending your legs long one more time. Just allow yourself to hang heavy here for a second. Arms can be out to the side, above your head, whatever feels good. This 30 minutes is your time for you. I can't say it enough, but it is so important to carve out time in your day. A time where you don't feel rushed, where you're actually filled up after, you're grateful for it, you feel accomplished, you feel strong. Those are the things you should be spending your time on. So many times we say yes to things that don't serve us just to satisfy other people's needs. But what about your own needs? Are you taking enough time for you? As we sit here for the final minute together, I want you to focus on how you could spend more time on yourself. Whether it's getting up 15 minutes earlier so you could sit in silence or journal, or if it's setting an alarm so you could sleep in just a little bit longer. What is it gonna be? Good, when you feel comfortable, come up to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes for one more final second. Big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good work. 
Wow, I hope you feel, just like I said, so strong, so accomplished in 30 minutes or less. That felt amazing. My heart rate was through the roof. <laughs> I felt challenged, so I hope you feel the same way. Again, take time for yourself today. This was one thing that you did, but I also want you to be a little bit selfish and make sure you are focusing other minutes in your day for you. I wanna hear what it is, so send me a sweaty selfie and let me know how you're gonna spend time on you today. Good work, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, bye.